Hello guys, welcome to today's video. We are finally caught back up. I didn't film yesterday because I wanted to get caught back up on videos and it felt good to just take a break and kind of, you know, just focus on my life and myself and family and things like that. So that was nice, but we're back. And this is the next blanket. We finished the blanket. Well, it's not finished. I have to put the border on it. But this is the other blanket that... Um, the lady ordered it's like this um some people are saying it's like online when you order it it's horse um hide but um some people say it looks like cowhide which it does it looks like all those you know things but on the back of it is black hide beautiful i think me personally and i think justin said he agreed we think it would look better with brown on the back but it ain't for us so it doesn't matter what we think um but yeah, so we have to put a border on this one, and then we've got the other blanket in, which I think you saw um, in the last video that I posted. Uh, we got it in here. Our house is a mess, so ignore it, but we're going to clean up here in a minute because we have the pest control people. When you live in an apartment, they do like routine pest control sprays and stuff, so they're coming tomorrow. But that's the last of her blanket, so I'm going to put the border on this other one. And then we'll finish pinning this one, get it sewed, and then we'll be done with her three blankets. I'm excited. And then we have some smaller blankets and stuff that we ordered um, still in these boxes that we need to get sewn up so we can potentially sell those as well. But I just kind of wanted to catch you guys up on what you missed yesterday. Really nothing. Um, like I said, I just worked on this blanket. Well, we worked on it. Justin helped me cut it and got it pinned. And then I sewed it. And now I'm going to finish it up. But yeah. Um, what else? That's it. We literally just were home all day. Um, so, like I said, that was nice to just sit home and chillax and hang out at home. And just like that, the border is on. You guys can't really see it that well. Maybe a little bit. You especially can't see it on the black side. The black side just hides everything. But, um... I guess you can kind of see it. It's where the hairs are a little separated there. I did the border and I did it pretty smoothly this time. This time didn't have any issues, so that went very, very well. But second blanket down, and now we can start working on the third blanket. But I need to edit a video for you guys. So I think I'm gonna take a break for a minute. Um, sitting in these chairs is kind of rough on your bootay and your back. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of break, help Justin clean up the house a little bit. He's in there doing the dishes. Um, and then I will start working on the video and then maybe I'll get to sewing the other blanket tonight after dinner or something. So we'll see. So, um, Justin is still doing the dishes and I plugged my phone in for a little bit cause I didn't have much charge, but I wanted to show you guys something. Um, I don't know why I never showed you guys. Um, but I think it's cool cause you guys know now we make blankets and stuff, not quilts, but blankets. And, um, granny made us this for our wedding gift. Um, it's a huge black and white quilt with so many different patterns and stuff on it. Um, she did a crazy good job on it. And we love it. I would show you guys. Maybe I can show you. Um, oh yeah, I can show you. It doesn't have anything crazy on there. I thought it might have more personal info on it. But she put this little tag on it when she made it. Oh, how am I going to show you guys? Here, let me just turn the camera around. That'd be easier. Don't know why I didn't think of that. But it says, for your wedding, Justin and Misty. This is when we got married, July 28, 2012. And it says, made with love. Love you both, Granny and Papa. It's so freaking cute. But anyway, um, we've had it stored away because we didn't want anything to, like, we didn't want it to get ruined or anything. Um, but we kind of want to display it somewhere. So we're trying to think of um, what we could do with it to display it. But yeah, um, I just thought I'd share it with you guys because it's so, it was such so, a sweet gift um, and it's something that we'll cherish forever, you know, so I think it's cool. I wanted to show you guys, but anyway, now I'm going to work on my video and get it edited. I need my little charger so I can hook my phone up to the computer, but, um, and then we're going to make dinner. If you guys have ever been to Applebee's and had the um, chicken mac and cheese, I think it's called or something like that, it's basically like chicken strips. And then, um, with, on top of like a homemade mac and cheese pasta thing. Anyways, Justin saw, uh, like a homemade version of that 
on Pinterest. So we got the stuff to make that the other day. And I think that's what we're going to make for dinner. So that's the plan for that. But for now, I'm going to get my video edited. Then we'll work on dinner. And then, I don't know, we'll go from there. Okay, so Jess and I have been just cooking dinner and cleaning up a little bit. Of course, it doesn't look very clean in here. But I promise you guys, this is clean for this room. Um, we have some blankets and st projects and stuff we're working on stacked on the tables. But normally we have stuff stacked everywhere like all, all over the floors and everything so um this is pretty clean for this room but yeah uh, i just got done vacuuming up everything and yeah we're finally done cleaning for the night well actually there's a few dishes i need to do but other than that um we're done and i literally mean a few there's like two pans um and then my plate from dinner justin already washed his bowl earlier so we're trying to stay on top of it but yeah so we just got done cleaning the mac and cheese chicken recipe um chicken strip recipe that I was telling you guys about didn't turn out so good at least not in my opinion so I'm not gonna link it below but if you're curious and you do like um, the mac and cheese strip thingy from Applebee's you can always search for a dupe for it um, I don't know I just the sauce wasn't very good to me so I don't like to re recommend things that I don't like even though I guess other people might like it but anyway so like I said just look up a dupe for that if you are curious but yeah so I just um, didn't pour the sauce on mine and I just had the macaroni noodles with chicken strips and it was okay like that. Um, Justin poured the sauce on his, he said it was okay, it wasn't like the best thing ever and he said it definitely didn't to him taste like the um, one from Applebee's so I don't know. It's the next day guys and I haven't filmed much because I feel like we've been talking about the blankets a lot so I didn't want to bore you guys but I did get this one finished, I just got the border put on it. It is so freaking stunning. It's beautiful. I love this blue um, hide on the back. It's so pretty. Um, I'll have Justin hold it up so you guys can see it in full view. But yeah, that's what I've been working on this afternoon. It is 2 o'clock. We uh, woke up kind of early this morning. They came and sprayed for bugs. You know, pest control came and did their routine thing. And then um, we started getting out other material and figuring out which blanket we're going to do next and stuff. And then um, we had breakfast this morning as well. And then I've been working on this blanket for the past hour and a half or so. Um, and then Justin went to go grab us something just quick and simple for lunch since it's kind of late. Um, we probably won't be hungry for dinner if we eat something big. So he just went to go get us some snacky stuff for now. Um, and we're going to have that. And then I'm going to call the lady and tell her that her stuff is done. Guys, it has been such a long process, you know, with everything going on in personal life and stuff and trying to get these done. I feel like I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I would have liked to, you know, like making them and stuff. I feel like I kind of was a little bit rushed because I wanted to get them done for her. Um, and I had already put them off a little bit because of the family emergency stuff we had and stuff. So anyways, um, it feels so good to have them done and I cannot wait to see their reaction. Um, I think all the blankets that they, you know, we put together for them um, are just really really nice and really really beautiful and I cannot wait for them to see them and I super can't wait for them to see this one because it's a very special blanket um, for their mother with breast cancer and I just I think it's gonna be just ah I don't know I think it's gonna be a beautiful moment when she gives this to her mother-in-law um, I think it's gonna be amazing and I just feel blessed to have been a part of making it and stuff so um, yeah I'm just excited but those are now done. Ooh, happy dance. Um, we're going to have some lunch. I just thought I'd start this portion of the video, let y'all know what we've been up to. Um, and then I don't think we have plans today. Our internet's been acting funky since, well, the past couple days, but last night it was like shutting off every few seconds. So um, they're going to come out and look at it, I think today, I'm not really sure, sometime. Um, and see if it's like an outside issue because of like the coronavirus and they're not letting the technicians come inside people's houses. So they're going to see if there's an outside issue and if they could, don't see anything with an outside issue, they're going to leave a new router modem at the front door and then we'll just hook it up ourselves. Um, so yeah, hopefully whatever the issue is will be resolved because you know, we like to have our internet. Okay guys, here it is. Check it out. There's her name down there in the corner. <sighs> It's beautiful. Good combination, yeah. It's, crazy. it's like a baby blue. Ah, it's so pretty. Love it. Okay, so we just ran to Walmart. Can you uh, stop making so much noise? 
I'm just kidding. Uh, we were looking for thread and stuff, just kind of some replacement stuff to restock on. So we got two big things of black thread and then one of white because Granny actually gave us another one of white so we didn't need another one of that. But thread is hard to come by these days because everybody's making masks and, you know, things like that. And so we were lucky we found those. And then we needed a new blade for our uh, rotary cutter thingy um, to cut our material. And look what we found. So Justin's been wanting to expand our business. Well, I mean, it's not going to happen right away, but obviously we, we both want to expand our business and reach out to more people and more customers and be able to have, accept different forms of payment and stuff like that. So we were like, let's look at the square readers when we get there um, at Walmart. And it's basically just like this deal where you can pay with a credit card, right? Um, and then these ones have the chip reader on it. And they're normally like 40 something dollars guys if you're trying to start your own business or something um these are 11 bucks at walmart they're on sale they're on clearance and we got the last two because that's all they had left so and we were like heck yeah we can have two and one be able to use them one of our phones yeah so that's a really good deal if you guys know anybody starting a business or if you are starting a business or if you need one of those for whatever reason right now is the time to get them from walmart because they're 11 freaking bucks i don't know how long that deal is going to be um like i said those are the last two there so we just grabbed them up but well, yeah. We're doing a lot of clearance stuff right now. So yeah. I, I mean, I don't. It, they've started it like you know three or four days ago, something like that. Yeah. So if you need something like that, you need probably need to go get it. Yeah. Really you soon. need to go check your WalMarts. If you have several WalMarts around you, you should probably check them all because somebody's bound to have them. Ours had them, and we live in a small town, so surely you guys can find one. Also, though, speaking of our business stuff, I sent the lady pictures of all three of her blankets done, and she's super excited to get them. She's gonna get them uh, probably in a couple weeks. Um, so she can save up the, finish saving up the money to get them. But yeah, we got those done. And I'm really excited to for her to see those in person. And that it's going to be super nice. And um, yeah, we got some more blankets to work on to sell in the meantime. And then we're also going to do... I don't know if you guys... Uh, a little after St. Patrick's, we did a raffle for to like do a giveaway raffle for a blanket. We're going to do another one. So I'm really excited to do that and have that offered for our customers. So yeah, we just got some exciting stuff coming up. But... Anyway, I just had to update you guys. I didn't film in Walmart because, you know, just really don't prefer to do that. And it's so busy. Justin was actually just unboxing these so we could look at them. And this is the chip reader one. You slide it in there. But it also has it where you can just tap your card on there. That's so cool. You guys, for sure, go check that out at Walmart. That's a pretty good deal. Um, and then we were kind of looking at their stuff. Obviously, this isn't sponsored or anything, but... Um, we just like to help other people out if you guys are trying to start a business or something. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, they said you can create a free website to use through them. Obviously, you're limited to what you can use and stuff with it being free. But there's you can do like a purchased plan, have more access to more things. But yeah, just a tip for anybody looking to start a business. Um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Justin's been watching a bunch of business TikToks. And I told him, I said, you should post your first TikTok, and it should be of that the walmart has those for on clearance for 20 or for 11 dollars. we paid 22 bucks for both that's pretty crazy that's not even half the price of what they originally cost i think there were 49 originally or 47 something like that so it's a pretty good deal but yeah leave a comment and tell justin to post his first TikTok. i think he should hmm. you don't want to he's telling me to do it <laughs> are you shy or what I just won't keep up with it. No. Oh. So. Well, not with that attitude, well, I'm just Mr. Being honest. Oh, okay. I guess we can appreciate honesty. <laughs> I apologize in advance if you hear cussing in the background. Justin is again playing um, the game with Matt and Brian, my brothers. Um, but I had to show you guys this blanket. This is the coolest blanket I've ever made. Well, not really the coolest, but I don't. I, I probably say that about every blanket that I make, but just wait till you see it. You're gonna be like, whoa, I need that in my life. At least that's how I am. I wanna keep it so bad, but Justin won't let me um, because I'll tell you guys, well, I don't know, I may be announcing it tomorrow anyway. By the time you see this video, it'll probably be announced the same day, but we're doing a raffle with this blanket. Tell me that is not the coolest colors you've ever seen in your entire life. It's like a tie-dye kind of a blanket. Um, it's freaking amazing though let me lay it out on the table so you guys can see it better um this is a lap size blanket so it's about i'm i'm 
five five ish and it goes from the floor it goes up to like right here so it's pretty tall and it's a nice width it's um i don't remember the exact width but let me show you guys it it's stunning oh why is it so blurry there we go look at that oh my goodness it is so good i love it so freaking much love it but yeah so um i do have to put the border on this still but i don't know i got motivated and i was like i want to see what that blanket looks like done i'm always filming right up on my face anyway i'm like i want to see what that blanket looks like when it's done so i want to sew it so i did um except for the border but i may finish that here in a little bit it is almost 10 o'clock at night but um well actually it's like 9 15 but anyway um so i don't know if i'll finish it but i really want to because i'm so excited about it just look at that it's insane um so i think we're gonna do raffle like we did last time with this one we were gonna raffle a baby blanket not everybody needs a baby blanket not everybody has a baby so or you know know somebody with a baby um that wants to enter a raffle to win a baby blanket so we thought anybody could use a lap size blanket you know these are good for anything you could literally keep it in your car for car rides you can take it on a plane if you're going on a trip you can throw it on the back of your couch it's the perfect size it's good for kids teens you know it's a good size for it's very versatile many people could you know anybody could use it so i'm so excited to get that done but i wanted to show you guys because it looks so good justin and i want to get a huge one or make a huge one so we can have it on our bed we have a king size bed so that'd be a lot of material and very expensive but i'm almost feeling like it's worth it i love that <laughs> It's the next day, and for some reason I forgot to end the vlog. I think I thought I ended it in that last clip because I talked forever, but apparently through all my talking, I did not end the video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.